TikTok and Universal Music Group have been battling for months ever since Universal Music Group pulled their music from TikTok and each side is arguing that the other side is greedy and that they want what's best for music artists. But who will win? It doesn't matter because it won't be artists. All right, so just in case you haven't heard anything about this, back on February 1st this year, 2024, Universal Music Group pulled their entire catalog from their, their label roster, or basically anything that they're publishing and administrated was pulled. It's not just the sound library that these songs aren't in. These songs, if an artist that is part of the Universal Music Group network, if they upload their own song to TikTok that they wrote themselves, basically TikTok will pull it. But why did Universal Music Group pull their catalog from TikTok? in the first place. And it comes down to two main reasons. One is U UMG is arguing that TikTok pays practically nothing for the music that they use in the platform. And since music is a critical part of the platform, they argue that they should pay music artists and labels and rights holders accordingly for that music. And this is true. TikTok pays horrible. They pay about one penny per time a video is used. It's an incredibly small number. They pay practically nothing to the music industry to use their sound library. So that's point number one. Now point number two that Universal Music Group is arguing is that they're valuing AI music with about the same value as what they value human created music. So TikTok started playing around with allowing users to make AI music on TikTok for their videos with just a single line of text, which is kind of like ChatGPT or Midjourney. Basically someone could just type in, I want a rock song that talks about love and feelings or whatever. And it's kind of it's gonna generate a song for them. And of course, the, the way this music is created, it's trained off of real human music. And so the assumption is that TikTok has used human music, trained an AI to replicate that music. And basically the music that's created with that, they're not gonna pay the artist back end royalties for that. And also now it's diluting the streaming pool because these AI songs are generating money and they're basically stealing money from the human made music. And UMG actually made an open statement about this on their blog. They're saying that uh, music is at the heart of the TikTok experience. Our analysis confirms that the majority of content on TikTok contains music more than any other major social music platform. Uh, and then going further, they start to talk about AI. On AI, TikTok is allowing the platform to be flooded with AI-generated recordings, as well as developing tools to enable, promote, and encourage AI music creation on the platform itself. And then demanding a contractual right which would allow this content to massively dilute the royalty pool for human artists in a move that is nothing short of sponsoring artist replacement by AI. And so UMG was trying to renew a contract with TikTok and basically they couldn't reach an agreement. So that agreement just expired and the whole catalog pulled off the platform. TikTok did also reply. They're doing a much different angle here. It is sad and disappointing that Universal Music Group has put their own greed above the interest of artists and songwriters. Despite Universal's false narrative and rhetoric, the fact is they have chosen to walk away from the power support of a platform with well over a billion users that serves as a free promotional and discovery vehicle for talent. And this is also true, right? TikTok is a massively popular, powerful music discovery platform that a lot of artists have used to become, to go from literally completely unknown to superstar. <laughs> completely for free, just by posting content and talking about their music and finding their fan base on the platform. So it's this very kind of weird push and pull where all the claims on both sides are kind of true. And they're both trying to pretend that they want what's best for artists. And in my opinion, I don't think either of these companies actually give a damn what's best for artists. <laughs> UMG, um, they're a giant record label and they have a history of making questionable contracts with artists over the years and doing questionable things with those artists to make as much money as possible. They're a business. You can't blame a business for trying to make money, but TikTok, same kind of deal. They're a massive business. They're trying to grow as fast as possible. They have a history of just basically doing whatever they can to manipulate that and grow fast. Like one thing that I heard uh, when TikTok started, the reason why they wanted so many people to become massively explosive and, and become celebrities almost overnight is because they wanted to create this dynamic of regular users seeing what's possible with the platform. So you would see someone just become like a superstar and have a massive following, and that would inspire everyone else to want to create more content. And they employ all these gambling tactics inside of the app to make it essentially addictive and get people pulling in. So both companies, very questionable things, both companies only really, in my opinion, only really care about the bottom line. And they're both pretending to be these like white knights for music artists. And I just think it really doesn't matter what happens because in the middle of this, you're still a music artist and you still need to get your music heard. And if you're under UMG, you're kind of just screwed right now. And whatever happens from this is, is probably just not gonna help you in any possible way. Now, one interesting and potentially positive thing that's coming out of this 
and I say potentially positive because it might not matter for anyone that's not on UMG, but UMG has announced uh, kind of a new sp uh, partnership with Spotify, an even deeper partnership with Spotify that includes social tools and video elements. And some of these are tools that Spotify has been teasing for a while, but Universal is basically going to be, it sounds like the first entity that's taking part in some of these tools. And one interesting aspect of this is the new promotional and social tools for UMG artists on the Spotify platform. And the other aspect of this is full length music videos. So UMG artists will be able to have music videos on the platform just like Apple Music and Amazon Music and Tidal have had music videos on the platform. It's gonna be on Spotify as well. Spotify has been building out their video functionality for years now. They started off with a podcast and then they've also done clips and they've also done the end of year uh, Spotify wrapped videos for artists so they have this video structure built so now music video is going to be a part of that but another aspect of this is it's not just about music videos one thing they said you'll be able to tease upcoming songs on spotify directly so you'll be able to upload clips of upcoming songs directly to spotify as social media content and then you can actually tag those to the unreleased music and then allow people to pre-save songs from those clips for unreleased songs uh, ed sheeran actually had for his new album had a pre-save on Spotify. So you could see the whole album on Spotify and you could pre-save it and there were video clips under the unreleased album teasing the album. And basically when people pre-saved it, it would automatically save it to the library just like a normal pre-save, but it was native to Spotify and it would actually send a reminder when the album came out directly inside of Spotify. No third-party apps required, no awkward logging in process like you would get through a landing page service. It was native Spotify pre-saves with video content and upcoming music it's honestly just it worked brilliantly so the thing is these features have been teased and saying that they're going to come to more artists over time it seems like at first they're going to come to umg artists but i'm hopeful that they'll it'll be so successful and popular with umg that it'll just expand to include everyone so unfortunately there's a lot of stuff in this that you just simply can't control but what you can control is how you market your music and if you want to learn how you can get 1 million streams your first year of promoting music on spotify check out this video right here but if you want to own your audience, have a website, an online store, and an email list, all that you control, check out this platform I built called Music Funnels. I'll put a link here, and it's the cheapest and easiest way to start owning your audience online without relying on social media and streaming sites and all of that. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.